Hey, what's up guys? Mac Rider here. Uh, normally you would see me behind my drums playing a cover song or an original song for you, but this video is going to be a little bit different because um, I want to share with you my story of how I was brought up and how I got into music and how I got to where I am today and where I aim to go in my future. So, uh, so today's story day. So, uh, so how do I start? Uh, I was born in 1992, uh, San Bruno, California. Still live here today. And uh, at a very early age, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, or more commonly known as autism. And uh, from that point on, my parents knew that I was going to have a more difficult life than the average kid. And in elementary school, I would always find myself getting, getting made fun of and being picked on, being put down. And pretty much all the other kids trying to put me in the worst light they could. And uh, it was a very it was a very dark time for me, uh, so socially and mentally, thinking to, my, thinking to myself a lot of times, like, why am I even here? Am I supposed to be like a whipping post for everybody? Is that my reason for being here on this earth? That's, this is not the way I want to live, you know? And that continued pretty much through kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. And uh, and there was one moment that came along and that changed my life. I'll never forget it. Uh, I forget what year it was, but uh, in between fifth and sixth grade, I was uh, on a road trip with my family. We were going camping, I, I believe. And uh, this one song came on the road, came on the radio, and I'll never forget it. It was "Fly By Night" by the legendary prog rock band Rush my very first inspir inspirational band for me to c become a musician because this was the moment that started it all for me uh, and that song came on and I would just find myself like in a trance watching everything out the window go by like everything everything outside the window flying by as we're driving and the title of the song fly by night it felt very relevant to the situation I was in and the music behind it it touched my heart in a really big way and it's like, this is something that I can connect to. This is like, this is like a friend that I've never had before. This is something that I can connect with on a very deep level. And I got very interested in it and I said, hey dad, who's, who's this band? Who, who's, what is this song? And he told me it's Fly By Night by Rush. And he took me to uh, Tower Records record store and he got me the, the their greatest hits uh, CD from 74 to 87. And I would just put that song on repeat over and over and over and over and over again because like this is my best friend right here. This song is my best friend. And then eventually I got into, uh, actually before that, uh, I saw a picture of the band uh, inside the, the pamphlet and it had them and all their instruments. and. All it took was for me to look at Neil Peart sitting behind his drum kit. And it was like, wow, that is the instrument I want to play. And I know this may sound pretty cliche, but you know, you know the old saying, you know, the, the person doesn't, the driver doesn't choose the car, the car chooses the driver. Well, that was pretty much exactly the same thing. It's like, I didn't choose the drums. The drums chose me. And and that was that right there was a moment that changed my life. I took, uh, finally got to junior high school, took up uh, the beginning band class, and pretty much it was just basic, basic composition and, and rudimental uh, training. That was really fun, and all I really wanted was to play a drum set. I didn't... I didn't care for the, the per, big percussion line. I really didn't play that because that picture of Neil Pure, that's what I wanted to be behind the drum set. And then graduated from junior high school, get into high school, then yes, they have a drum set. I don't care what class it is, I wanna play that drum set. And it was it was the jazz band and I got into I got into that band and we and pretty much basic uh, basic composition. We had uh, like basic swing jazz and, and things of that nature, just to get, I, I, all I was happy about was playing a drum set, that's it. 
And then after four years of that, they graduated from high school. And then it was at a moment, that was a moment where it was like, okay, I don't think, like I'm, I, I don't want to be doing uh, music classes for the rest of my life. I want to branch out there and, and make something happen here. So I formed my first band called The Unexpected, and uh, and we and we only played one show, and the band only lasted four months because because I because I was and still am very dedicated to making music. I want to make music my future. And I really felt a lack of dedication amongst the, the other band members. So that kind of fell apart really quick. And then uh, I started jamming with a, with a friend, or an acquaintance really, from, from high school, who, who, who I became friend, friends with later on. And we started, we started playing along, jamming around. He had his guitar, and I was playing my, my Verve percussion drum set that I got for $20 from a family friend. <laughs> It sounded terrible, but uh, and we were playing for a long time, and then eventually life changes got in the way. Two years later, and uh, and we couldn't jam anymore. And then in 2010, my neighborhood had a uh, had a had a really devastating pipeline fire, the San Bruno pipeline explosion, that killed eight people, and that was really a moment where it's like I gotta there may be a time where I may I may not be on this earth anymore so I really need to put all my heart and soul into pursuing a career in music and then I found then I went searching on Craigslist many for many times and eventually three years later I guess you could somewhat call it a break although really in today's world it's not but it felt like one to me in 2013 I found these two guys looking to form a band called All Roads, and and they had me audition. I I auditioned for them, and and two hours later they emailed me saying we want you to be in this band, and I immediately said yes because it's like this is what I wanted. I'm in a band now. I can play music, and and we and I still play with them today. They're some of my greatest friends, and. And it's just an unbelievable experience. And and then it was like after learning uh, what today's music music industry is like, it's like I got to take on more projects. So I went on Craigslist again, and I found this guy Brian Travis who was looking to form a backing band for Americana music. And I went up I went up there. I listened to his songs, and they were they were amazing. And I wanted to audition. And I drove all the way up to Vallejo and. And pretty much, and he he gave me seven songs to learn in two days. Which, trying to learn everything note for note, that's impossible for someone like me. So what I did was I took uh, I t I took tips that I learned from an online video from a drummer named Rich Redmond who plays with Jason Aldean about writing phrase charts for new songs. And I wrote out each each song and I brought it in for that audition. Pretty much knowing only only the basic groove and the structures of the songs that was it and then pretty much halfway through he's like dude you're hired I'm like oh my god <laughs> I can't I can't I couldn't believe it and so I'm at a point in my life now where are my dreams of becoming a musician 100% fulfilled no they are not I plan on making making it to the real big stage one day and and also I want to be an inspiration to children with Asperger's syndrome or autism to pursue their dreams because it doesn't matter what people at school say, what the doctors say, what therapists say, what what society says about you because of your disability. You put your mind, your heart and soul into something that you love to do. Not only will you ne not only one You'll never work a day in your life. And two, you can accomplish anything you want to. And that's what I try. That's what I am trying to do every day. Not only to become a professional drummer, because it's something that I wanted to do, but I want to prove to the world that people with any disability—it doesn't matter if it's autism or Down syndrome or anything like that. 
they can accomplish anything that they want to when they put their mind, heart, and soul into what it is that they love to do. I hope you enjoyed this video of me sharing my story. And um, I'm looking forward to getting back behind these beautiful, beautiful instruments to play another to play another song for you soon. And can't wait to see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.